Hello my lovely friends, this is Marta from Drop of Sunshine and welcome on my YouTube channel. Today I'm coming to you with something super special because we do have our first block hop and giveaway. I am organizing it together with a part of my beautiful Sunshine family, uh, with my besties, uh, with Susie, Cindy, Ella and Monica, together with my girls, we are creating this blog hub for you. Here you can see the box of Sunshine and what is included in the kit. This is a handmade kit which I've designed by myself and it contains this large A4 size block of papers where you get two of each design and there is also a small pad which contains over 130 elements to cut and on top of everything there is a bag filled with handmade flowers which I've created myself and also a little extra surprise uh, envelope with some goodies. And the last quick information for you to take a part in the blog hop, you just have to watch every video, there is five of them, and subscribe and comment under each uh, of the videos. Now, today I'm going to be creating a chocolate box. What I like to do for my uh, boxes, I like to place them in the center of the A4 size card. I am just placing them along the shorter side and I'm just checking uh, where my chocolate will fit in the center and what thickness uh, I need to my box create to uh, hold the chocolate nicely. I always like to take a piece of the pencil and write down the measurements on the side just in case and this is uh, something which helps me in the future reference if I need to write the blog post or something uh, I have this measurements on the side. Now uh, I've noticed that my chocolate has got three and a half inches by six and a five eighth and it's uh, white for uh, one and a half inch so this is the measurements i am using uh, but please don't take them for granted because every company every chocolate bar is slightly different even if they have the same uh, weight they could be a slightly longer thicker thinner so the best idea for you is to place your chocolate uh, directly on the paper and just score around it as i did it's very simple very easy to do and now what i'm going to be doing I need to cut uh, most of the flaps. I'm only leaving the flaps which are attached to the smallest side which will be inside of my box. You will see it in a minute. It will be more clear. And one more tip for you, my friends. If you're cutting along the score line, do not reinforce them. Just use your scissor first, cut whatever you need to cut off and then score uh, and fold your paper. It's much easier to cut straight if you not going to be reinforcing your uh, scoring line first. Now I'm just folding everything. I'm using my bone folder just to make sure everything is is nice and even and then I am just checking if my boxes is just folding a uh, proper way and once I'm happy I'm gonna be start with dressing up. For that I'm using one page of the A4 size design uh, in my kit with this big paper pad you do receive some pages which are full print A4 size and some of them are 8x8 eight eight, and they also uh, have some extra labels for you to cut. So there is a mixture of, of the designs and everything is matching everything so it's very easy to use and play with it. Here I am using the pencil rather than a ruler. I don't measure anything. I just go eyeball it and just mark myself the dots where I need to cut. And once I'm happy with it, I'm just gluing everything and the inside portion of my chocolate box is already done. And this is something I recommend you to do uh, to dress up your box before you will assemble it because once you glue it down, it will be much harder to uh, glue everything straight so it's easier to do it once the box is unfolded here i am also attaching a one piece of the matching paper on the other side but once i glue my box this will be actually the inside portion so i want the paper to match the rest now i am choosing another design and i'm going with one of the pages which is the eight by eight uh, print uh, which also have some labels and uh, I'm marking myself what the length of the paper I need to have 
and then I will be chopping a smaller portion uh, accordingly to each side and glue them. But at first I'm just going to glue uh, two of the narrow strips and those two wider panels I will leave at last because um, there is a reason behind it. I want to attach a ribbon so I could have this nice bow uh, which will be securing the box. Uh, it will be just working as, as a closure for my box. So uh, to make sure I have this nice continuous pattern, I am cutting everything accordingly, starting from left to right and just keep the uh, panels, but I'm not attaching those uh, two wider panels. I only attach the strips uh, at first. And once I will have them attached, then I will pick my ribbon and I will make sure I will attach the ribbon before I will glue down the panels. And to make sure I will attach my ribbon uh, straight on the both sides, what I like to do, I like to put the box together and then mark some pencil lines. Now here you can see uh, I'm just picking up the central point and I'm marking myself a dots on the both sides. This way I know the ribbon will be uh, equal um, part it will be on an equal height from the both sides i'm using a pieces of the double sided tape to secure my ribbon and for the projects like that the best way for me at least it's organza ribbon uh, because it's very thin and it's very easy to wrap up the bow it's not creasing as much as the satin ribbon so even if you're at bounded it's gonna be still looking nice and more presentable so this is my advice i would rather go with the organza than a satin ribbon and the grossarian will be the most uh, the less flexible one because it's the the thickest one uh, so here you can see i have all the panels attached and what i'm doing now i am adding some double-sided tape to the flaps and i'm just adding the glue on the second flap not the first one which will be side of my chocolate box but onto the second one and I'm trying to follow along the edge so it will glue nicely. I'm placing my chocolate because it's easier to fold the box this way and once I'm happy once all the ends are neat I am just gently pressing and then I am putting my um, scoring tool inside and I'm just pressing everything a little bit harder so I'm giving it enough pressure so the glue will catch and here you can see how the chocolate box is put together I am just bounding the ribbon just uh, shorten it up a little bit uh, and then I will dress up the top of my box now uh, for the chocolate box like that you can add your wishes inside or on the back side so dependingly what would you like to do but I always like to add my little composition uh, to the side here so then if you are creating the panel with the wishes it's better idea to either print your wishes and glue them down or if you want to write it down something with the pen uh, you can use this little flap which is on the chocolate side because once you glue your flower your composition it will be much harder to write uh, the wishes with the uh, with the pen so always remember about that if you're gonna build up uh, a lot of dimension on your front composition uh, i would rather suggest you to think of the printed wishes uh, than trying to write down everything uh, with the pen. Now here I am using a couple of the reeds uh, which are included in the set. I am just raising everything up with a drop of the foam tape just to give it this nice dimension and I'm just going to be using a couple of my handmade flowers, couple of the leaves and this lovely blue sentiment which says uh, with love which will be matching here perfectly. It's just fit nicely inside this wreath and it's uh, the blue tone matching up with the rest of the paper used with the with this chocolate box here i'm just picking a few more bits and i'm attaching everything with the help of the glue uh, apart from the wreath which i also well i also use the hot glue but i also use some extra foam tape and once i'm happy once i feel like i have enough uh, then my box is basically done so I hope you have enjoyed my today's video and don't forget to check all this beautiful, amazing creation my friends has prepared for you. And to take a part in a giveaway, you have to watch every of the five videos, subscribe to the channel and 
comment under the video all the links are in the description area and don't forget you have time to watch all the videos till 31st of january i will then pick up winner and announce it on my channel stay blessed my friends and i am wishing you all the best Bye bye